Hello, my name is Katie Massey. I'm going to read the first chapter of my memoir, Are We Home Yet? And I hope you enjoy it. This book begins like this. In the dream, I'm waiting in a room and I look around. I recognise the matching polished pine gee pine dining table at which I sit. The deep orange shaggy rug is cosily familiar beneath my feet. This is 24 Victoria Park Avenue, the house where I grew up. The nearest thing I had to a home during the closest experience I had to a childhood. A couple of feet behind my chair, the orange rug gives away gradually to stony moss and miniature ferns. The roots of trees rear up around the table. A green guard for the brown and orange dining arrangement. In the background, I can hear birds' wings catch branches, causing dappled light streaming through the leaf canopy to dance on the G-plan table's mirror-like surface. A verdant discotheque, the light falls now on teacups of finest china and gold leaf, then on glittering plates which shine like huge gold coins and are piled high with French fancies and Battenberg cake. I am waiting at this table. I am waiting in a state of long-term anticipation, where all tensions are balanced so perfectly that I appear to be calm. It is the epic wait of Miss Havisham at her wedding breakfast. I appear to have mastered acceptance, but instead have achieved a state of constant, considered anticipation. In exact opposition to the way that one usually just knows in dreams, I do not know why I am waiting. I am not waiting for guests, they are already here. They surround me, and all the chairs that usually remain empty are, in this imaginary time, filled. My brother Paul is sat at the table, grinning so wide his face is split like a custard cream. I am angry with Paul, but I am so happy to see him I grin through the tension. I wonder if he is convinced by my dream smile. My daddy is there too, or rather Cyril, or father. No, I have never had the chance to grow out of calling him daddy, so I stick with it. It is the right decision, because he is smiling back at me and calling me his khaki princess, like he did before. I am looking at him hard, but I can't make out his features. But I know it is him because I can see the outline of the hat he always wore, like someone just stepped off the boat. Mam is at the tea party as well, for a tea party it is, and everyone is tucking into the fine china tea and colourful cake except me. I'm the only one who is looking on, observing. I am the only one who is confused. Beneath the noise of raised voices, laughs and chinking cups, I am muttering that this can't be real, not even dream real. Mam glances at me with a look that belongs to the time when I was little. Her eyes say, are you okay? And also, you'll feel the back of my hand if you don't behave. But the look lasts only an instant, too quick for me to ask what she and the others are doing here. And anyway, how did she become so young?